It would seem the birds at London Zoo do have a lot to say, but understanding them isn't easy. That's because they're birds. No such trouble for Britain's best-loved ornithologist, Bill Oddie. He's been translating their calls and, of course, tweeting them on the internet. <coughs> Quite repetitive. What's, his, what's, what's going on there? It's not very urgent, is it? Going, uh, 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 just to let you know that this is my jungle. Boom. You know. So quite casual. Get back to me when you can. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. How can he be so sure? It's because we're told birds only have about five things to say. Virtually every species have a main song, which the male does, then there may be a more subdued female version, there will be noises which say we're in trouble, there's danger, there'll be others which are what they call a contact call, just little chirrupies. So there are those meanings which are in common with just about every bird. But toucans and their tropical relatives are in short supply in London. So what homegrown twitching can we do in the capital? It's still a good, good time for Londoners to, to have a look at the, the birds. Oh, well, it's right? a fantastic time, but you don't hear much right. because this is migration time when birds that have bred here are on their way south and they don't bother to stop and sing. I was out on um, Hampstead Heath the other day, a couple of days ago, and indeed if I went to the other side of Regent's Park, it's a fantastic area for birds, and there are swallows, for example, going over in considerable numbers and house martins, you know, and I love that feeling. The swallow came skimming past me about two feet off the ground, literally that close, you know, and he said, if you say, give my regards to Cape Town, or wherever you're going, you know, because that's where they're off to. If you want to hear more of Bill Oddie's bird translations, they're all on Twitter, naturally. Toby Sadler, London Tonight.